A child is born, hidden by his mother, then given up for adoption. A Levite man named Amram, who was married to a Levite woman named Jochebed, gave birth to a son. Seeing that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months to protect him from Pharaoh's decree to kill all newborn Hebrew boys. Who was this special child? His mother realized that he was no ordinary child and she was not afraid of the king's instruction, so by faith she hid him. This was no other than Moshe which is popularly known as Moses. When she could no longer hide him, she placed him in a basket coated with tar and pitch and set it along the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister Miriam watched from a distance daily. One day, Pharaoh's daughter came to bathe in the river, saw the basket and had it brought to her. She realized that the baby was one of the Hebrews' children. Miriam, Moses' sister, offered to find a Hebrew woman to nurse the baby, and Pharaoh's daughter agreed. This was the hand of God in preserving his servant. The heart of Pharaoh's daughter was so moved when she saw the child that she was even willing to ignore the instructions given by the pharaoh to get rid of the hebrew males sometimes if we take a closer look at our situations that we encounter on a daily basis we can identify the hand of god in our lives he continues to preserve us as we navigate through these evil times the baby's mother was brought to nurse him can you imagine and when he grew older he was brought to pharaoh's daughter who eventually adopted him and named him Moshe, which means liberate or save, while the name Moses was given the meaning drawn out of the water. When Moses was grown, knowing that he belonged to the Hebrew people, he went out to where his people were and watched them at their hard labor. One day he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his own people, Moses slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. The next day, Moses went back out to look again, but this time he saw two Hebrews fighting and tried to reconcile them, but they rejected his interference. Instead, questioning if he intended to slew them as he did the Egyptian the day before, realizing that his act was known. Moses fled from Pharaoh who sought to kill him. And so Moses fled to Midian and sat by a well. The priest of Midian had seven daughters who came to draw water and fill the troughs for their father's flock. Some shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses got up and helped them and watered their flock. When the girls returned to their father Ruel, also known as Jethro, they told him about Moses. Ruel invited Moses to stay with them and Moses agreed. Moses later married Zipporah, Ruel's daughter, and she gave birth to a son who Moses named Gershom, saying, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land. During that long period, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned in their slavery and cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. God heard their groaning and remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Does this mean that God did not remember what they were going through? Not at all. It simply means that God was now ready to execute the next part of his plan. God looked on the Israelites 
and was concerned about them. We see once more the act of God in his people's life. He continues to protect his own. Romans 8 verse 28 states, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Despite the dire circumstances that the children of Israel were encountering, God orchestrated events to preserve Moses' life and prepare him for his future role that would bring deliverance to his people. Our God is a deliverer and a protector. Psalm 34 verse 7 reminds us, that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. God protected Moses from birth through the actions of his family and Pharaoh's daughter. God continues to be faithful to his promises. Psalm 145 verse 13 says, The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made he is your creator he knows all you are going through and if you remain in obedience to his words his promises will be made known in your lives god heard the cries of the israelites and remembered his covenant that he will deliver them and establish them as a nation showing his unwavering faithfulness. God has a plan for you, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Moses' life from being saved as a baby to finding refuge in Midian shows God's purposeful plan for him. I just want to reassure you today, there is hope in times of trouble. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Psalm 34 verse 17. What is your cry today? What is it that you're going through that feels unbearable and it seems that no one can help you? Turn it over to the Lord today. Give him the burden that you bear. Just take a deep breath, let it out, and leave it there, for he cares. Four hundred years were long, nights of pain and discomfort. Some never lived to see the promise fulfilled, but remain in faith and your exodus from this life into eternity will be sure. The Israelites' cries for help reached God, demonstrating that he hears and he responds to the cries of the oppressed. Let his will be done. These scriptures highlight God's providence, protection, faithfulness, purpose planning, and responsiveness to his people's cries, providing encouragement and hope for us believers. I encourage you, trust in his words. Let us pray. Father in heaven, God, we honor you as our Lord, our creator, our king. Father God, I pray, Lord, as we have come to the end of another chapter, I pray, mighty God, that you will increase our faith. God, you know us individually. You know our different circumstances. Some are so unbearable. But I pray, mighty God, that these words of encouragement will touch the hearts of the listeners today. I pray, God, that whatever they are going through, God, that they will not give up. I pray, God, that I will place it in your hands because you are in control. Mighty God, I pray that you will strengthen them 
God, that they will endure to the end because we know that our exodus from this life will be sure if we remain and abide in you and in your words. Bless us continually as we say thanks in Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Walk good.